press the record button and say, yo, what up? How's it going, man? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. How about yourself? I'm well. I'm doing quite wonderfully. Uh, we've got a Moonfish deck here. Uh, you're going to maybe go find Art of Moonfish, and uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get into a deep, dark part of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hit, me with, uh, hit me with a pitch. What's going on with this, uh, this Moonfish deck? Okay, so at first when I saw Moonfish, I was like, dang, this character looks like he sucks. Like, I was like, there's no way you can make this character who revolves around a three diff other than Uobami who can run Funny Punch and make them good. Yeah. So I was then digging through and I'm like, what can I do to make him actually viable? And I was looking through all his symbols. Aeris didn't seem like he had enough three damage text that you wanted to run to make it cool. Void, again, same issue. But Earth got to run a nice card called Texas Smash. Yeah. And also like full power clash and has some other three damage text that get very like hit very hard really fast but then also with moonfish you just say oh and now they're pretty much unblockable also so they're hitting hard and you can't block them have fun yeah so so kind of the whole idea is this is being like i'm swinging like if i get two texas matches i'm swinging the second one for like eight seven high for 13 whatever damage and you just can't block it yeah it's uh pretty good <laughs> it's pretty good so what do you need my help with then? Um, if there's like the big thing I would say is because I played it yesterday, it was just kind of fun with the person playing all for one, and it felt really good. I'll say the big thing was getting it to find the attacks I want consistently because like I didn't really think forceful blow was actually all that good when I played it. I kind of had it there as a major kill card, but it just didn't feel like I ever had the momentum to make it worth playing. Like whenever I had it, I'm like, oh, I have maybe one momentum, and it's not fast enough to matter. So maybe yeah. just kind of like looking at the attacks and being like, oh, maybe put these guys in instead. And it's, if you see any big issues with like maybe the foundation lineup. Because I'm not running a lot of his foundation. So I'm like, I'm not sure if that's an issue or not because I wasn't very sure about some of them. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting call. It's an interesting choice. I think his foundations are pretty good. Uh, I like them. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm still looking through his stuff. Uh, just to just to be perfectly clear about options. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It looks like you've you've done a lot of the heavy lifting for me of like what foundations could slash should be here, which is mm -hmm. which is nice. Um. How many or how big do you want the deck? Right. Um. What is what I, does this number look like? I like running decks. Anywhere from high 50s to mid 60s area, like 66 to like 59. Okay, I think uh, I think personally having a slimmer deck to find Texas a little quicker makes more sense to me. Yeah. Um, and so I want to cut that deck size down as low as possible. I'm down. Um, that I I think that that's like very good. <laughs> okay. Uh. And then uh, still looking at just options. Um, coordinated effort. It's a good card. If only it was playable. <laughs> yeah. If only. Um, We're still looking. I also think his attacks are cool. The big one that I just don't really like that much. I don't remember what the name is of it, but it's the one where he's like, or it's the ice it's glacier breaker, I think. Yeah, glacier breaker. Yeah, I don't. It's think like you, I think that's a. Eh. Uh, I don't think you play much of his moves whenever the the goal is just Texas, right? Yeah. Um, if the goal is just Texas, then just do a bunch of cool punchy things. Um, yeah. I think like uh, even even like Shrapnel Tooth is like uh, or where's I guess it's just a three damage move, right? Uh, yeah, three damage move. We'll just we'll just take a look and, and show you what I what I added, right? Um, mm -hmm. The first thing I added was just Harden Uppercut. Uh, this card yep. is just like a decent f three low for five. It has ex two and gets big. Um, it's probably just like a better kill condition than what you've got going on with Forceful Blow. 
I agree. Um, as long as you can figure out what that looks like and like, you know, you can afford the high block zone. Um, yep. And then chop is the next one, just because it's a combo extender. They don't want to block it. Um, and this, you discard a, a discarded attack that dealt three or less damage from your card pool. Okay, that makes sense. So if they partial block chop, they discard the card if, and then stuff. And then yep. jab is the same way. They have to full block jab. They're not allowed to partial it. Um, yep. And you just like get more value off of off of your thing. And so like mm -hmm. all three of these moves are good. I think the best option is just uppercut. Okay. Um, I like a uh, piercing growl as a way to just like kind of have its own thing happen. Uh, it's a six for three that just like you if it deals damage, you remove it from the card pool and then just add a copy of Piercing Growl from your discard pile to your hand. And so, like, you yeah. just, like, have it keep... It, playing four of this as its own little engine of things that they have to get, to deal with is, like, good. And then its yeah. deadlock ability is just, like, fine, right? Yep. Going back to the, the moves that are on your table, uh, why is this card in here? Um... To be honest with you, it was another three damage attack. That was kind of like I saw it today, and I was kind of like, you know, why not? Maybe just try it in here because again, this attack gets plus one damage for each momentum both players have. So you put it into your, uh, so you play as your opener, and then now it's gonna it's a five mid for three. Your character, if they have three cards in hand, become makes it as eight mid for three. Yeah. And then you make them both put momentum. It's an eight mid for five opener. Sure. Yeah, that's totally fair. Which, yeah, that's cool. But um, I was I'm not really sold in this piece. This piece and I just kind of threw in there, be like, you know, it's interesting. Like you can make like, this is a, this is a cool interaction. But again, I'm not sold on it. Do you think that this is a better card than Back Alley Haymaker? No. Then why not? Four I think building. Back Alleys and then. Um, the big thing for me with Back Alley, there's like again, this was uh, two of them in my original deck. I think I took actually um, Jab out for Golem for the Beast Golem. Sure. Just because I like the three damage, but um, I just had a two of earlier back. I I, be, I think it's fine being a four of them taking Beast Golem out. Yeah, I think I think four back alley just makes the most sense, and I think that this card, this card is a cool card. It does not deserve to be in this deck. Yeah. Um, a forceful blow. We said we don't like this card. I don't. Yeah. Mind it. I think it's neat. I just don't think that you need it. Um, if you wanted to play like more three damage moves, just play Hardened Steel. Okay. Um, I think that like playing hard and uppercut at like a two of is probably fine especially depending on what your block zones look like right oh shrapnel tooth is a high if it does damage your next attack it's plus two speed why this guy if i could ask um so three different attacks so like i can play it later in a string like say for instance like i only need to do a little bit of damage and they for sure have no blocks in hand or whatever mm -hmm. i can just play this card and a flip one of your committed foundations yeah. Making like so like some people like they'll commit their valuable foundations for offense early so yeah. that way that I can't like force commit or do things to be like oh I don't want to get rid of stuff that's already committed you know sure so makes it where they can go oh you say like you've committed your um excited for blood right after it mm -hmm. I'm gonna then flip your excited for blood now you get no value out of it because you committed it early so maybe makes it so your offensive tools that you can't use on defense they are essentially now useless on offense also. Sure, I think that that is very technical, and I think that that this card's job is taken up by seizing. Okay, I agree. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, I think this card is not good in your deck. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you need this card even a little bit. Uh, let's look at how many attacks we got now. Eighteen attacks. Let me just cut this bad boy down to fifty and probably feel fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, full power clash. Uh, this card is. Oh, let me let me read this. Um, I remember three more cards. Uh, discard an attack that dealt three or less from your card pool. Your rival discards one card. So this card is actually insane. Uh, let me let me read this one more time. Yeah. Okay. So this card is actually insane because it gives both speed and damage. It's mm -hmm. a five mid for three minimum. And yep. then it becomes a six mid for four minimum because yep. of its own ability. It's actually nuts as a finisher, especially if you have any sort of multiple number of cards on the on the table. Yep. This card's, in, this card's insane. Um, it's also a one mid block that has powerful two. Yep. Like, so you've got a momentum out here and a momentum out here. It, it's just, it's actually just incredible. <laughs> it's actually just incredible. 
Uh, I like rapid punches in this deck. I think it's I think it's very neat. I think it's just like a probably a more consistent version of what I was wanting to do with piercing growl. Um, also mm. four three two mid block four three two mid block. This card draws a random card. This card possibly draws a uh, an attack. Um, and but this card has a cost of discard a card. This card just has to hit four low for yeah. for four. Whereas this is a five mid for three, um, and so like it makes more sense to play rapid punches over top of the the growl. But I want to take this full power clash and just like slam it up to four. Okay. I think this card hits just as hard as Texas Smash, um, cool. and like if you don't have Texas Smash, like this card like just makes up so much speed and damage, man. Okay. Yeah, I agree. It really, really does. Uh, on to the actions. I don't think you need four of this. Okay. Uh, I th I bet you yesterday when you played this, this card clogged a bit, yeah? Um, I, I think I only ever saw it twice in my hand one time in five games. And the one time that that happened, I think, was off the rip, so I was able to mulligan it. Yeah. Which felt good, but again, I could see it definitely clogging up if I have a smaller deck size. He gives two speed for a three printed. Did I just misspeak and say that it was a five mid? Yeah, it's a little faster, but doesn't his hard, his hard for piercing growl. Sorry, I'm talking to chat. Yeah, uh, Punch is still just a better card, I think. Because five is a five low for four. Yeah, and it becomes just made a six low for three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it would proc blade tooth though. It, it would. would which we are going to increase up to a four of more than likely. Okay. Um, it says that they're not allowed to partial block anything. Yeah. <clears throat> um. So I think Seizing easily gets to be a 3 of, and you just sideboard the 4th if you want, and then Sugar Rush Power okay. Up I don't think that you need. I think you play like 1 or 2 just to okay. cut the cut the numbers down. Um, getting getting stuck with these cards in your hand, in your character, sucks. We want attack cards. We have to have attack cards. I'm trying to play as many attack cards as I can. And this yep. plus 2, plus 4 is not going to actually like win you the game. It's just like playing more moves will win you the game. Okay. I agree. Yeah, yeah I totally agree with that. Um. Okay, so now we get to go to. Hey, we are cutting this bad boy down. Block zones are still pretty good. Let's go go to the foundations. Uh, let me just like make fun of you for the foundations I don't like. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Card <laughs> Why is this card in your deck? Honestly, uh, I just found it, like I can make any of my six my three damage text six. Like it was kind of in there for this three damage text, but again, I don't. I'm not. By no means am I like. Oh, I love this card. I think it's yeah. very. Like it's on the card that would cut first, probably. I think. Yeah, I think this card is bad in your deck because you can't re-ready it. True. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this card is just like a better version of what this thing is wanted to do, and it's on a spam. True. So like any of your moves that just like like anything that gets partial blocked or whatever, you just like slam more more stats on. It's just very okay. good. I'll protect you is a good move. We will keep that. That's fine. I I'm getting rid of carbo loading. It's gone. Yeah, um, protect you came in handy so many times yesterday. I'll protect you oh, yeah. is a cool card. I like this card a lot. Uh, the commit cost of it is a little rough, but it is fine. Uh, Shivers competitor, why is this not a four of? Uh, I don't know. I thought it was. I'll be honest. Here it is. Um, I like Revel a lot. So with Revel, I don't actually know if we necessarily need Blade Tooth. Um, because this is this is gonna push us over our over our cap, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I will just take Blade Tooth out. It is okay. If you like this card this much, we could just pump it up to a three, if not four of, if you want. I think three. I think three is fine. Okay. Uh, now let's take a look at the foundations. Uh, first off, this is going to be a one of in every deck that exists for the rest of time. True. Uh, and so it deserves to be in your deck. Um, sluggish Recovery, if you play... Nope, that's a sideboard card. Nope, that's not good enough. Uh, okay, so on to some more stuff. I like mainly friendship a lot. Uh, does this say printed? Uh, yes. Yeah, print uh, printed damage of three or less. Discard attack that dealt three or less. Okay. Um, so I added in ready get set go because I think blowing mm -hmm. out your opponent is really good in your seven hand size aggro character. Um, yep. I think there's no reason not to play like at least two copies of this. Same thing with something along the lines of like brute strength. Yes, we have access to revel, but destroy the fa losing the health and destroying the foundation just like just like slams more stats on him. And the fact that we're not playing someone of style is like a little crazy to me. Um, yeah, I was really good with that card. Don't know why. Uh, um, 
I actually really like this idea of class 1A president. It just automatically works with full power clash. Yep. Just as your full power clash is actually just like, just slam them. That's really yep. cool. Um, snack time. Why is snack time not in our deck? Um, it takes our bad cards and makes them. Makes I think them at the it. time I had a lot of high blocks, and then we got to cut it down out of less high blocks. I think I think I'm down to put it in. Uh, I think snack time had a three of his completely chill. It also says that once we get the deadlock, we'll just murder them for, for sure, for sure. Sure. Sixty four. Uh, let me figure out a couple low blocks. I think sixty six. Oh, we only have twenty attacks in our deck. Probably should up that count then. Because 22, yeah. 22 and 66 is is the numbers, right? Like, that's what we're supposed to have. Yeah, I agree. And so, I mean, one more hardened steel for low block coverage. And then we could easily play... What do you do? If this attack deals three or less. Um... Hmm... I mean, it could just be like another hard uppercut if we really wanted to, or like another rapid punches. I think we're. I think rapid punches. Rapid punches is not that bad. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So like, this is technically a cleaner version of this deck, right? Yep. Um Maybe maybe like just run this and see how you feel and see like like is my attack package doing what I want my attack package to do? Um, because. As well as I cut a, a ton of actions from your deck. Do you miss the yep. actions or not? And then coming in here and being like, oh, I have seizing. I don't need apathetic. Apathetic is now a slot that I can open up. What do yep. I want to grab with new training method? Because I think I think people want to play new training method a lot, but then they just like don't know what to pick up. The reason this card was so good in set two is because it just it picked up face shield for free. Um, so yep. if you have a, a foundation you want to pick up, I want to pick up one nature. I want to pick up chivalrous, then we can do that. But like, yep. figure out what you want to do. Um, but yeah, all in all, I think this is I think this is a totally fine starting point uh, with it. And this is without like knowing what the rest of the set looks like. What what do muscular yeah. cards do? Who knows? Yep. Yeah. And we haven't seen all the, all the Moonfisher's cards, right? Or they're all out. I think we've seen majority if not them all yeah i want to probably like a seven out of nine or something like that mm -hmm. anyways final thoughts i actually i like it um i think the attack line being a lot more four of makes it a lot more consistent finding what i want to find yeah and then also i think just having less actions gonna really make it so i see more attacks more often mm -hmm. so i think it's good i love it i absolutely love it all right man well stay on the line long enough for me to shoot you the list and uh you have a good rest of your night okay yeah you too bro i'll right, we'll see you